welcome to today's video in today's video I am gonna be making a facial mask slash a facial scrub this facial mask can do double duty it can be used as a facial scrub and then you leave it on the skin to dry as a facial mask now in this mask I'm using ingredient that is gonna help to hydrate the skin It's also gonna help to lighten the skin get rid of spots and blemishes from the skin and it's just gonna leave your skin feeling refreshed the soft and glowing so if you're looking for a facial mask that's gonna do double duty it's gonna hydrate the skin soften the skin while clearing spots and blemishes from your skin mask a facial scrub is for you so what are you waiting for come with me in the kitchen and I will show you how to whip this up in we no are time. using bananas today bananas are great for your skin hydrates the skin brighten and lighten the skin banana also have to plump that skin up and when used on a regular banana will help to get rid of hyperpigmentation from your skin so today I'm gonna to be using a half of a banana and the very first thing I'm gonna do with this banana I'm gonna peel the banana and I'm gonna be blending the banana so I'm gonna chop my banana for easier blending I'm not gonna leave this peel out guys because the peel have vitamins and minerals which will further help to lighten and brighten the skin for those of you with a lot of hyperpigmentation on your skin the banana peel will help to clear those up in no time so now I am just gonna go ahead and blend this banana So I'm just going to and here we have our blended banana now moving on to the next ingredient and take a look at what I have here this is dried orange peel powder and to make dry orange peel you just have to dry your orange peel in a brown paper bag and then you blend now after blending you get your dried orange peel powder you can also get your dried orange peel powder to buy online and I will put a link in the description box below now take a look at our next ingredient and this is rose powder take a look at it up close and this is actually dried rose petal that they blend to a powder I will also put the link below if you do not have rose powder go ahead and you can blend some dry rose petal if you do not have the petal not to worry you can also use some rose water in this recipe now moving on to our next ingredient which is a fresh milk if you do not have milk or you do not want to use milk go ahead and use some soy milk for my vegan subscribers that's just as good and milk contain lactic acid which will help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes brighten the skin but also because of the fat in the milk it will help to hydrate the skin now for the rose powder a little goes a long way so we're using a half of a teaspoon of rose powder which is 2.5 ml now if you're using rose water use one tablespoon of rose water and if you're using the rose petal after blending you're gonna use the same amount a half of a teaspoon 2.5 ml now reaching for our dried orange peel and we're going to use uh, the same amount we're using a half of a teaspoon 2.5 ml of the dried orange peel and we're pouring that in the rose powder and now we're just going to blend the two dry ingredients together the rose powder and the dried orange peel just blend together and guys this is a burst of fragrant right here next I'm moving on to the milk and I'm using one tablespoon of milk 15 ml and we're pouring that over the rose powder and the dried orange peel and we're gonna blend this together just mix it up 
really an amazing fragrance coming from this and you can see that it thickened up a bit and that's exactly how you want it to be and now we are moving over to the banana and I'm going to use two tablespoons 30 ml of the banana pouring that in be generous with the banana and now we are going to just blend this together blend well and this is it this is your banana rose facial mask an amazing combination of ingredients and now I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna show you how to use this wonderful facial mask on your skin for best result because of the citric acid from the dried orange peel after setting this mask aside for a couple of hours the mask is going to become much lighter not as purple but more brown you want to make sure to give this mask a star before you use it so just star it and guess what you want to make sure to start with clean skin so wash your face with your regular facial cleanser pat dry the skin and now your face is ready to absorb this wonderful goodness now I like to use my hands to apply this facial mask okay if you are not comfortable using your hands use a brush but I think I get a better application by using my hands so you want to be generous with this okay do not skimp on it just gonna take uh, in my hands like this and I like to just rub it in my hands and then I just apply it on my face. When you're applying this facial mask, if you apply it in circular motion like I'm showing you, like exfoliating your skin with it, the mask, you're gonna get better result because there's a bit of a granule in this facial mask from the orange peel. So just apply it in circular motion on your skin and do this for about a minute or so and after you do that so I'm going back in just my new method of doing things these days do not do this with a clay mask though if you have a clay mask just apply it to your skin but a mask like this you could exfoliate your skin with it before so apply the mask to your face Don't forget your upper lips. It's for sagging chin. Make sure you pack it under that chin. Okay. And once the mask is on your face, you're going to sit with this for at least 30 minutes. Let me come up close to show you what it looks like on my skin. So after 30 minutes, you are going to rinse this mask off with some room temperature water. You're going to pat dry the skin and you're going to apply your favorite facial toner. After your toner, layer it with some serum and your favorite moisturizer or moisturizing facial so oil. Have, so there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. Leave your comments. Comment, 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 comment. And if this was the first time watching, don't leave without subscribing. So click on the word subscribe below and you will be subscribed. Thank you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.